Let me first of all ask you, based on the events we're currently having, uh, what are the major effects of climate change on uh, rainfall patterns and uh, agricultural productivity in Nigeria today? And what role does climate information services play in this regard? Sir? Well, we have a tropical rain drinking agriculture in Nigeria. During my days as producer of farmer, radio program and I start as an extension uh, consultant. We went to places to meet farmers and we discovered that a lot of operational losses were basically because of uh, lack of adequate climatic information. I did your instance. At uh, Ofada Rice, Ofada area and Gidon access of Ogode, a lot of farmers are abandoned the plantation. Apart from uh, land grabbing, the cause of climate change. And they could not get information. There was even a time that we got to Gidon and we discovered that, you know, farmers based on climate information can project where the birds will come and destroy their farm because birds move with but because of climate change, they could not specifically say this will be the time the koala bears will come to destroy. So every opportunity they were making are being faulted, you know, made almost useless by sudden climate change. Initially, they did a lot of things, clapper board, even red cloth. To the extent they are putting radio on their, on their farms. But because they cannot say, okay, this is the time we expect, all the way we are young. Today, you see a lot of birds moving. Ah, we can specifically say, okay, this time around, we have this uh, uh, yearly coming, then you will not see them again. But it's not like that now. And the same thing applies. And of course, in terms of great losses, even personally, I saw a lot of loss from maize, bomb, and of course, I, Cassava caused sudden change in climate. And I think Nemet has done a lot of that. I didn't know, let me be honest. I didn't know their work and their mandate was so expansive. I didn't know. But I'm happy to be here because uh, this is knowledge gaining and capacity building workshop by Eda. And of course, this is going to go a long way. But I want, like the DG said, it has to cascade down. Because uh, if you look at many of us there, we are elites. Exactly. In fact, that, that, that forms the basis of my next question that Jimmy, most, uh, actually most uh, of the farmers at this workshop are elite farmers. Yes. Now, how does this uh, maybe cascade down to uh, the local farmers, especially uh, the information, climate information services being provided by them? How, how, how should it be done to ensure that that is improved delivery tailored and simplified to the needs of grassroots farmers? Well, there's no crime in getting a needs farmer together for comparative knowledge gains on assessment. Because at the end of the day, there is no farmer that is in isolation. They meet the medium, low scale farmers. I mark you, they also belong to different groups. But what is important really? is the, the medium. I, I did the program on, uh, for many years, which I call Farmers Radio, on uh, AI channel, on Repa, Radio Nigeria. And I discovered that most radio stations don't have a great program. That's true. The name GG mentioned, of course, uh, Sulani, I guess, uh, mentioned the need to, to collaborate with radio stations, instead of NIME totally taking over, they have been establishing new climate change. But there is also the danger or the problem of ownership and control and commercial focus of almost all radio stations. You go and do assessment. 
Either you find a session, apart from the mention of uh, agriculture, either you find a session that is giving information on agriculture or climate as a public service announcement, a public service program. Those who are even producing, except where the, those programs are domesticated in the program, when you are producing, you are paying, you are living. In fact, what you are getting, you just have to look for money from other business to, to pay the airtime. And this is where I think I will advise them to have similar things with executives of media stations so that they can see the issue of climate as how we are seeing uh, COVID now. So that uh, they won't make it too commercial. In fact, they can do it free. But those uh, young journalists here, we only take that. But they can't, they are not part of the policy formulation. So that's my advice. Honestly, we are doing a lot of